Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Gabriel and Light 2, The Beast Within. Let's have a chat. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. Great. Mind if I ask you some questions? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, that was a bit awkward there, but yeah, tell me about yourself. Have you worked here long? Uh... Tomas. Almost one whole year. A year? Wow. I noticed you were pretty calm walking in that kennel. Guess wild animals don't bother you, huh? The wolves, they are lazy during the day. Oh. Gabriel, your face is like every single time I am hitting on you. <laughs> so you carry a walkie-talkie? The zoo is big. Who normally gives you your instructions over that thing? Kitchen, sometimes the health unit. For something really important, a Dr. Klingman himself will call me. Dr. Klingman? Okay. Tell me more about Dr. Klingman. Who's this Dr. Klingman you mentioned? Herr Dr. Klingman is in charge of the mammal division. So I should speak to him about seeing the wolves up close? You can try, but he won't let you. Perhaps. Where could I find him? In the administration area. Thanks. Okay. Wolves? These wolves are fascinating, aren't they? I tried calling one over, but they weren't too obliging. Yeah, some <laughs> people try that all day. Is there any chance you could take me inside the kennel? Uh... I'd really like to see one of the wolves up close. Kind of a research thing. No way. No one will enter the kennel without authorization. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know why you think he would just let you in. It's his ass in line if you get killed. <laughs> I suppose you were around when those wolves escaped. <clears throat> no, I don't work at night. But you must have been here the next day, right? That people were pretty upset, what with the police and everything? Oh yeah, yeah, that day was super crazy. Can you tell me about it? Tell you what? Uh, oh wait. So they, so wolves, so there's wolves missing from this enclosure. And they believe that the one that's going around killing people are these. So how'd the wolves escape anyway? Well, Dr. Klingman says the gate was left open after the night feeding. That's what a huge mistake. The gate is heavy, it shuts itself. Maybe something was in the way, maybe a rock, I don't know. I'm only glad it was not me there. The boy who works at night has been, you know. Oh, fired. Fired. Yeah. So what do you think that. about these killings? Pretty scary, huh? Do you ever think those two wolves could do something like this? I don't believe it is possible. Hilda and Parsifal were fine with me, just like all the other wolves. Hilda, she liked to play. She was so young still. She did. Okay. What did the two missing wolves look like anyway? Hilda was pretty. She had much white on her chest. And Parsifal, he was bigger, thicker, more in the chest. Uh, he was five or six years old, maybe. Much darker than Hilda. Dark? Dark what? Dark gray. Both for gray. Most of the wolves here are. Hilda was light, but they get darker when they get older. Is that right? Okay, so I'm assuming after this, hey, we thank are... thank you for your time. Whatever. <laughs> He's like, weird dude, why is he asking me all these questions? At least introduce yourself with the card of, like, I'm a researcher. Okay, we're heading to the zoo administration, I would assume. Hello, Doctor. I already forgot your name. You look like you're ready to take off as you're in your Come and see. Coat. That, that is a coat, right? Can you hear helfen? I'm afraid my German isn't very good. My name's Gabriel Knight. I'm an American novelist. What can I do for you, Mr. Knight? I'm researching a new book and, uh, I hear you're the expert in these parts. Could you spare a moment? Please, sit down. Thank you.
Okay. <sighs> Could I ask you some questions? Yes. Well, obviously, you already Thanks. sat down to ask some questions. You ask don't mind it. if I record this, do you? That's fine. Ooh, can we go back? I wonder now if we can go back to the police station if he's gonna bring, if he himself brings out the recorder like that. So, you're in charge of the zoo's mammal divisions? Yes. What kind of training do you need for that, Doc? I realize you Americans hate titles, but people refer to me as Herr Dr. Klingmann here. Herr Doctor will also do. Sorry. I have a doctorate from Heidelberg University. My field is animal behaviorist. Fascinating. It, it, you sound really fascinated. <laughs> You're particularly interested in wolves. Yes, I'm quite well known for my wolf research. You must have been horrified when two of your wolves escaped then. Yes, it has been very unsettling. I mean, it's not just escaping, it's people are now dying from supposed wolf attacks. What kind of wolf research do you do, Herr Doctor? I study wolf society here and in the wild. Any insights? Only that there is a purity to nature which human society lacks. Meaning? Life, reproduction, death. In nature, there's a purpose to it, even if that purpose isn't pretty. We humans have forgotten our purpose. We have. Yes. Does a uh, male lion say to the female, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid to make a commitment? Does a female wolf uh, run off and leave her offspring to the male because she wants to mate with another wolf? Do hyenas need psychotherapy because they are guilty about their thieving nature? You have a point. Which I'm afraid I have overstated. Not at all. Do your fellow scientists share your views? <laughs> Not often, no. Fortunately, I have found others who do. Interesting. I just, I'm curious because he used the word, he said wolf society, which I don't know, would that be applied to animals when you're talking about the way a group of animals, particularly the same species, interact with each other? I mean, I'm assuming it might have its own term, but... I was speaking with one of your boys out front, uh, uh, Greg, was it? No, there's no Greg on staff here. Do you mean Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, right. So different. Anyway, he's the one that said to talk to you. Because I was wondering if there was any way I could get a closer look at one of the wolves for research. I'm afraid this is not possible. We don't show our wolves to anyone. We must protect what privacy the creatures have. Really? Well, gosh. I guess that's that. Sorry, you don't show your wolves to anyone in the zoo? Like, if they were in some sort of private enclosure, I would understand, but they're in the zoo, so technically that statement isn't as factual. I mean, obviously, I think he means something like that in a different way, but in the zoo, you don't show... <laughs> Do you mind if we talk briefly about the missing wolves? Is this relevant to your book? Oh, yeah. You see, wolves are major characters in my new novel, and... This case is quite unusual, isn't it? I suppose it is. Very well. Um, actually, I know very little about the case, but I will tell you what I can. Appreciate it. Okay. How long have the wolves been missing? It's been about two months. Jeez. Whew, that's a while, isn't it? The strains the police haven't seen hide nor hair of them so to speak. Believe me, your sentiment is shared by the German public. Okay. Do you think the zoo wolves are responsible for the mutilation killings? That is yet to be proven. Because <laughs> I've been wondering, uh, what else could it be? Wild wolves, maybe? Unfortunately, there are very few wild wolves left in Germany. Most were killed off by hunters decades ago. 
most. A few remain in the Alps, but so close to a city like Munich, it's highly unlikely. Any other suggestions? I'm afraid I'm as confused as anyone, Mr. Knight. Is there no, any sort of restoration efforts? Because there is that here in North America, but unless like they are born and bred here and I mean, I don't, depending on the species, I would assume, but. What I don't see is why wolves, if the killers are wolves, why wolves would attack humans. Wolves are predators. Most carnivores are potential man-eaters, given hunger enough and opportunity. But weren't the zoo wolves raised among humans? Yes. And therefore, they are not afraid of us. Mm -hmm. I suppose. How does a wolf choose its victims? Have you ever heard of the language of death? Uh, no. You may have heard that wolves often choose the young, the old, or the sick as prey. Until recently, many thought this was some sort of natural selection going on, um, survival of the fittest. But now some of us are finding it is much more complicated than that. We have observed, for example, wolves surround a sick moose cow. The creature was helpless, yet she stood up and glared back at her would-be killers. The wolves dispersed. Or a healthy bull who uh, ran off alone when he sensed wolves, making himself an easy target for no apparent reason. Researchers now believe that there is a kind of primal language going on. I am death, the wolf says. Are you ready to go? And the victim, by its actions, says, yes, I am ready, or no, you will not take me now. What if their prey doesn't know the language of death? This is a big problem, particularly for the wolves. When wolves come across domesticated animals who do not know how to play the game, they're confused. They start slaughtering and uh, they have no sense for when to stop. That is why farmers have hunted wolves to extinction in most parts of the world. Well, that certainly gives me something to think about. Okay, I think that's it. I don't see anything in the bookcase but German textbooks. Yeah, the docs definitely got a thing for wolves. Looks like office equipment back there. Take it out. Yeah. The docs definitely got a thing for wolves. How do you see that? Okay, the certificates. Yeah, a doctor's coat. It. This is his coat? He looks like he's wearing a coat now. I guess that is just his suit, but... I, I'm guessing, like, I'm just not used to a beige-colored suit, so... Or a blazer? With a correct... I don't see anything in the bookcase, but Jeremy... With the correct... I don't see blazer. anything in the book. Okay, I think that's and think it. of what else to ask him. Okay, I'm gonna leave now then. Thank you for your time, Doctor. Ooh, not at all. So I think the only two locations I would assume are in the administration office and the the front of the enclosure here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see if I go back to the no police. No point in going thing. back in there at the moment. I can't even try to talk my way in. Okay, I don't know what else to do then because. The Ubers have a nice set up here. Oh, I never actually... I imagine... Okay, I never checked around here. It's a water trough. Ground's a bit muddy over here. A w It's a water trough. For who? 
Are we just walking in? <laughs> These woods go back a ways. Plenty of space to hide. These woods go... Okay, thanks. Not the, not the kind of dialogue I was hoping for. <laughs> Plenty of space to hide, huh? The Yubas have a nice set up here. A bit domesticated for my taste, but nice. The Yubas have a nice set. Okay, let me just double check in here to see if there's anything else besides this. I think it's literally just this thing. Now, we have the cement here, which obviously... Nothing of interest in there. Something later. Now, he says something I about I could be cement. wrong, but I think this bag contains cement. Now. Okay, something... Quick. Quick drive. Oh, you keep... I keep I keep thinking you're done. And you're not done. Okay, I think that's it. Because I have no idea what else to do. Okay, we got ourselves... Our letters. Um, can... Hello? I like to get this... Off the thing, please. I just realized we're going around just carrying around the dagger in our with us. What else is there to do now? That's the question. Are we going to check ourselves out in the mirror? Here we are. Yeah, fix that hair. That flouncy hair. I already wrote one letter to Gracie. Okay. Don't want to give the poor girl a heart attack. You know what? Let's go visit. I mean, let's see if there's anywhere. I, I don't know what else we could do. I mean, if he says he doesn't want to drive the car, then we'll know, right? Nope. He's getting in the car. Game's loaded. Sorry. <laughs> like looking over at my my robot vac every single time. Okay, maybe there is something else here. I also noticed there's the hint system on the side. Are you gonna call for the wolves again? Do I have to watch this scene every single time? No. I don't think so. I can skip through it. Okay. Zoo admin. I, hmm. Oh, wait. Something over here. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's a good idea. Looks like that path goes into the kennel. Don't think I. That oh, must be sorry. the entrance to the wolf habitat. Looks like that path goes into the kennel. Don't think I'd get too far on my own, though. Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay. Uh. Do I maybe contact the lawyer? See if he can get me an in? Cause what else is around here? Oh wait, the food. I don't think she speaks much English. Weisswurst. Six marks. Blood sausage, head cheese, pork innards. Mm-mm. I don't think she speaks much English. Besides, she only wants to talk about white sausages. I don't think she speaks m Well, do we... Where's our wallet? Wallet? No. I'm not much in the mood for meat at the moment. Okay. I was thinking maybe we could, like, use that in order to... to... to get the wolves or whatever to come over it for whatever reason, but... that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, do we have to see a cutscene every single time of... Okay, thank God. Stop that in the tracks. Uh, the only thing to do is... I don't have anything to... else to say right now. Okay, so there is nothing more. Okay, we can just skip that then. Um... So, let's see... Oh, where's the hint? Blinky destinations have tasks left to complete in the chapter. Oh! 
Okay, good to know. So there's still something to complete here. Oh, I do like that. The question is, what can we do? Cuckoo clocks. Cuckoo clocks. I've already got a watch, thank you. Okay. Where we weren't able to get into here, though. He just does this. She almost seems to be watching me. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? So this is the town hall. Rat house. That's a town hall. Okay, we already looked at this, so... Okay, so we know where the post office is. We know where the lawyer is. He sent the... Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't understand that stuff even when it's in English. Any... Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't even know what he's saying. That's the problem. <laughs> I have no understanding of the... Of what... Of what he's observing in that... That... I'm assuming it's a bookstore. Now, the question is... Oh! Interesting. That just leads... Shoot. Okay. Well... I didn't think that would take us down, so unfortunately I have to like, head to all the way to the other side. They're busy. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. They do like- oh, it brought us back to this side at least. I thought I was gonna have to like, walk all the way... Okay. Wait. Anything else here? It's a post office. What should I mail? Is there anything else for you to mail? So that's to you. That doesn't make sense to... This is to you as well, right? Yeah, St. George's books. Just I'm just double checking right now. Because I really don't know what... There's supposedly something in, in this area we still need to do. We've already talked to... I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Even their trash cans are clean in this city. Is there anything? Yeah, like there's nothing that he just says that there's more shops on this side. Oh wait. Oh, that's him. So, what is it here that... What else is there here, then? Because he made it sound like there is something else over here. Oh, I do wish for that teleport. <laughs> um... Because you can't get to town hall. He just looks up and comments about the Glockchen spiel. There's nothing more to say to him. Germans. Always in a hurry. Okay. Wanted to see what that would bring us. Otherwise, there's just this, which... Looks like... Is there anything else besides this? Okay. I might... I would imagine I might need to refer to... Refer to a guide, because I really Pack don't know... Flesh. That sounds yummy. Blood sausage, head cheese, pork innards... Mmm-mm. Blood sausage, head... I thought you weren't in the mood for meat, sir. Liar. I don't think you speak... Okay. Uh, what else is there to do? Is there something... We can't go any further here. 
Okay. I'm probably gonna have to look this up because I'm not sure what else to do here. Yeah, blinking destinations have tasks left to continue in the chapter. I mean, it could just be we don't have the thing now. Canis lupus loop. He doesn't Canis say anything else, right? Canis. No. I'd really like to get a closer look at one of those wolves. So, see, that's why I say buy the sausage. Get a close look at one of the wolves. So I try one more time. See, like, I'm wondering, is it going to be one of those things where I can't do it until... Until I get the... Because right now, playing Art of Murder, The Hunt for the Puppeteer, a lot of times I get stuck because I have to, like, talk to... Have a conversation, and then they'll allow me to continue forward. I don't think forward. she speaks much. No. Okay. Um... Okay, so let's go back to the administration office. I haven't tried to... No. There's nothing more, it's just... It's just the path here. Oh, Mr. Knight. And think of what I... I don't see it. Yeah, dog. That's me. Get Looks like a... That's me. Okay, there's nothing more. So I assume... Would I play him the tapes? Like, can I take items and then show it to him? Because if I'm trying to get, like... I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. Okay. I'm not sure why. Uh. I'm not sure. What in the world? Wallet. I'm not sure. Okay. Really, I'm super just. I'm super lost in what I should be doing. It could just be. I don't have the necessary... And there's still something apparently I need to do in Lockham? Okay. I suppose that's for tending those window boxes. Feels like there's the cement, right? But then I have no idea why would we even need to do something like that. A metal pail. Nothing of interest in there. I could okay. be wrong, but I think this bag contains cement. Now. Quick. Quick drying cement? Okay, so he's just saying it's quick drying cement. Okay. Is there something in here that we missed? Exit. There's that letter. Grab that, grab the newspaper. Oh? Who should I call? I don't think that you... Okay. That's me. China. Is there anything more in the bag? I thought we already grabbed everything, but... I don't need anything else right now. Oh, fine. Fine. Okay, so maybe not out here? I could call Uber Grab, but I'd rather just go over there. Okay. What's this one? 
St. George's Rare Books. Okay. Don't think that's of any import. Importance. That's his novel thing. Okay, we can't interact with that. There's this. Oh, that's him. It's a water trough. These that... woods go back a ways. When... These woods. I'm assuming if I just. <coughs> okay. I think. I do need to look this up because I'm very lost on what I should be doing. So just waiting for this vacuum to start up anytime. So Gabriel Knight 2, because we know where there's still stuff to do, but the problem is that I'm not sure. Oh boy. I accidentally went to the very bottom somehow. Okay, chapter one, Uber Farm. Open Gabriel's bag, get contents, da da da. Read letters, read Grace, write a letter. Newspaper on the table, read note next to wall, car keys. Walk right and towards tree lock. Check the muddy part with paw prints? Okay, so that's why I'm missing something. Oh, this, okay. I was wondering, I'm like, like, it seems the quick drying cements for something now. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Jesus. It's as big as my hand. Okay, this is what we need the cement for. <coughs> and then we can bring it to the... To the... Uh, the doctor. Sorry, I forgot your name, sir, but I'll call you doctor. Not doc, the doctor. Oh, he instantly knows, sir. I kind of wonder why they have quick drying cement here. And they cut in such small bags, too. Okay. So I feel like, I got a feeling that I'm going to be referring to the walkthrough quite a bit now because of things I'm just going to end up missing. There's no way for me to highlight them. You don't need to look at it, you just need to pour the cement, sir. There we go. I don't know if there's a way to make sure there's no air bubbles without... It'll take a minute to set. I was about to say, I'm like, man, you mix so much for so little. Okay. Oh, shoot. My bad. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Go to the log. Is it set? Tell Pixelated Gabriel, let me know how it turned out. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it turned out well. 
Can I see? Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Okay. So now that we've done that, which is the task I'm missing, now I can... Oh, I'm sorry. You can't, you can't drive with a paw print. <laughs> We're gonna take the drive to the transit. Was it, was this thing called the Autobahn or am I mix, mixing things up here? Okay, let's go to... All right, now we can show him the administrator, the paw print. Hello. There we go. And? Mm. I'd rather ask someone who's not involved. What do you mean, there's someone who's not involved? And think of what else to ask. Fine. So we just have to wait for that guy. How do we trigger that guy to show up? I'd really like to get a closer look at one of those wolves. I'd really like to get a Are we going to actually try to sneak in? Looks like that path go That must be the entrance. That must be the It's not going to let me though. Oh no no no. No! Do I just wait here long enough for him to show up? Oh, apparently, okay. Sorry, back to the walkthrough. Apparently there's still stuff I can find here. Go to the tree logs toward the edge of the woods. Go beyond the tree logs, sorry. Okay, sorry, we're gonna skip that. So apparently there is stuff I can click here. Oh, right in front. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. Wonderful. You're gonna pick that up with your bare hands? At least, sir, evidence! Evidence! Why must you do this every time? No, at least put it in a plastic bag. Something's been here. Maybe the thing that killed Yuba's daughter. Oh, apparently you put this in an envelope. Never mind. Firm hair. Got it. Is that all that I need? Sorry, I'm just looking up in the thing, because... Find some wolf hair. Okay. So. Now that we're done that... You know, I should double check, like, when I'm in the... At the train station. To see, use the hint thing to see, it's like, oh, have I missed something else? If I don't want to keep relying on the, um... The walkthrough here. Though, if I'm going to be missing stuff this easily, because it's not... Unfortunately, with FM FMV, there's no way to know whether or not I've... Uh... No, there's still something here. What do you mean? Or is it something for later? I'm going to assume it's something for later. Okay. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Load Clingman's tape in deck A and a blank tape in deck B. Do we have? Splice the tape? I can't see any reason to make a splice off that tape. Oh, sorry. Load this one. Not a bad idea, but I oh. should go somewhere more private first. Okay. Okay, so this is a new mechanic that is not explained. Because in the walkthrough, it's like the Uber farm. Huber? I don't know how to pronounce it. Press to go inside and splice the tape. I... 
was not expecting this. There's no explanation of how to use it, so... I realize you Americans hate- oh boy. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm just looking at the walkthrough because I do not know how to do this for the first time. Transfer the words Thomas, Air Dr. Klingman here, Shore Wolves to Mr. Knight. Okay. Thomas. Does it matter? Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, God, why is my cough getting worse? Where is Mr. Knight? I should imagine it should be at the beginning. Oh, wait. Thomas, Herr Dr. Klingmann here. Show our words to Mr. Knight. Okay, and is that... <clears throat> and that's it? Ah, oh, here we go. And it labels it Klingman Spice Splice. Okay, that's interesting. Hopefully I can figure these out. Yeah, there's no there's no explanation for that, so I definitely would have to refer to the walkthrough. Cause that wasn't in the original game either. So for some reason they're telling us to go here. He's not in here anymore. Klingman's back there. I don't see anything in the- Oh, he's back there. He didn't hear the door? A walkie-talkie. Didn't- Wait. A walkie-talkie. Didn't Thomas have one like that? A walkie-talkie. Can we not use it? Did oh wait, we use the tape. He's gonna hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think the door... It's not that... You're not that quiet with the tape. Yes, so subtle. No one heard that. I know I'm going over time, but... Thomas? Thomas? Yeah, Thomas here. Yeah. Herr Dr. Klingmann here. Show our wolves to Mr. Knight. Yeah, okay, Herr Doctor. Yep, absolutely quiet. <laughs> he looks so smug, I love it. Mr. Knight? <laughs> I'm afraid I was just about to leave. That's all right. Perhaps another day. Perhaps. <coughs> Good luck with your work, Mr. Knight. After you? Yeah, thank you. You might want to just leave. Leave, okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Knight. I have orders to show you one of the wolves. Really? That would be swell. Yeah, please stay calm and go slow. They don't like strangers.
This is a special treat I use to make them come to me. They love it. Marguerite, come here. Come all here, Mädchen. <clears throat> Marguerite, schau mal, was ich hier hab. Her ears are down. <laughs> come on, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're... <laughs> it's like you're embarrassing me. <laughs> hey, girl. Good girl. Let's go first. Yeah? Ugh, how strange she likes you. I have a way with women. <laughs> are we checking the paws? You wanna... Stop, stop that. Check the pause. He's wearing a tag. All the wolves here wear them. Okay, why is this close-up so uncomfortable? Hello? He's wearing a tag. All the wolves here wear them. Okay, I would really... Oh, wait. Don't do that. Stop that at once. Sorry. <laughs> He's just like slyly putting his pocket. <laughs> Did you close the enclosure, sir? You should not have done that, Mr. Knight. She seems so tame, just like a dog. Wolf is not dog, Mr. Knight. Sorry, really? Yeah. Well, at least nothing happened. Are you done here now? Yeah, thanks. Isn't running the worst uh, thing to do, though? I'll put in a good word for you with Klingman. <coughs> oh, wunderbar. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm gonna assume we might be done here, but I can check when we... Either way, I need to end the set here. So thank you for liking if you liked, thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed, and thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys, see ya!